Hi there. In this video, we are going to see some of the details of GitHub pages. And also, we are going to see how we can deploy our static website on GitHub. Before starting the video, I would like to suggest you to watch the video completely for better understanding. And also, in this video, we have discussed about one of the special repository which is very important for us. So without getting delayed, let's get started. GitHub Pages is a static site hosting service that takes HTML, CSS and JavaScript from our repository and publish on the GitHub. We can host our site on GitHub domain that is github.io and optionally we can also map it to our custom domain. GitHub Pages is specially designed to host our website about ourselves or our organization or our project directly from our repository. This feature is available only for public repositories for GitHub free and GitHub free for organizations. But this feature is available for both public and private repositories with GitHub Pro, GitHub Team, GitHub Enterprise Cloud, GitHub Enterprise Server. There are some of the things which we must know while working with the GitHub pages. GitHub pages sites are publicly available on the internet even if the repository is private. We can deploy our changes from any of the branch. But we have only two options for selection of the folder. One is the root folder and other is the docs folder. If we are aware of the GitHub workflow action, then we will be able to configure our own workflow action and we can deploy our code from any branch and any folder. If we haven't mapped our custom domain, our project site will be available on our https slash username.github.io slash our repository name. Or if it's organization account, it's https slash organization name.github.io slash repository. For this video, we'll see how to enable GitHub pages for our existing repository as well as a new repository. GitHub pages will look for the index.html, index.md or readme.md file as the entry file for the site. If we are publishing from the different branch or folder, the entry file must be on the top level of the source folder. So let's open our GitHub first. Here I have already created two of the repository named repository1 and repository2. So let's open one of the repository. And let's see if our site is available or not. Our project site will be available on username.github.io slash our project name that is repository1. If you see our site is not available that's why it's showing 404 that is not found. So let's move to the github again. Here under the action we can see none of the actions are configured yet. If you go to the settings we have a section for code and automation. Under that let's go to the pages. Here we have build and deployment. The source it is asking for is deploy from branch and other option we have is github actions. Here we can configure our own github workflow action and then we can use it for deploying. But for now we are interested in deploying from the branches. Here the branch selection is none so we will select the branch as main and we will keep the folder as root. So let's save. Now if we move to the actions. We are able to see one of the workflow created, pages build deployment and here we can see it's already running. If we click, we can see the status of the deployment. So let's wait for the deployment to complete. Now the deployment is completed and we can see one of the URL is provided to us. Let's click on the URL and here we can see our site is available now. And this text is coming from the readme.md file. The site which we have opened or uh, which shows site not found, let's try refreshing it. And yes, we can see our site is available now. Here in the settings page, again let's go to the pages. And here you can see that your site is live at this URL. If we click on view site, we'll go back to the same page again. So this is about the existing repository. One thing here I would like to show you is our site is available on the username.github.io slash our repository name. But if I remove the repository name, our site is still not found. So how to do that? 
so for this we have a special repository called username dot github dot io so let's go and create a new repository before that i would like to show you one special repository if we just give our username here we can see that this repository is a special because readme.md file will be added to our github profile so let's see our github profile first i'll just open it and view my profile let's open in the incognito this is my public profile so let's go again let's create this add the readme.md file create repository and it is created one thing i would like to show you the difference is i have one of the project which is repository true and i haven't made any changes i simply created it if you see the readme.md file of this contains the repository name but the readme.md file for this special repository contains hi there now if i go back to my public profile and refresh it now i will be able to see this readme.md file from my special repository if i come back try editing it i'll be able to see a template here let's try uncommenting it and commit the changes since i made the changes it will be visible on my profile now here you go so this special repository is used to write your own bio about your work about yourself so let's go back to the topic now here we have to publish our site on username.github.io that means my themessydeveloper.github.io so for that i need to create a repository with the name themessydeveloper.github.io and in your case it will be your username.github.io so let's create a new repository themessydeveloper.github.io and it should be a public add readme file create repository now one thing i would like to show you the difference here that the repository too we don't have any of the action here and in the settings under pages nothing is selected but the new repository which we created with the name the messy developer.github.io it is a special one because everything is provided by default if you see action is already added inside the settings the branch is already selected on the pages now you see uh, the deployment is already done and it is available on the messy developer.github.io why this repository is special because in the url it won't be followed by the uh, repository name again means it won't be like the messy developer.github.io slash the messy developer.github.io it will just be the messy developer.github.io so let's visit the site now and here we are able to see our text which we are getting from the readme.md so let's go to this site and refresh it again and yes we are getting the same now here we have one more thing that we can deploy it from the different branch so let's try that as well so we'll use the different repository let's go to the repo one and from this i'll create a new branch and we'll upload some dummy website this is uploaded let's commit so once we are done with commit if you come and see in the actions no workflow is executed let's go to the settings let's change the branch first here we have the branch of new branch now and we will be selecting the root save if we come back to the actions we can see one new workflow has been triggered with the new branch let's wait for it to complete now this is completed and we can see the url let's navigate to this url and we can see the website now so this is the dummy website i have created and here we can see we are able to navigate to each and every urls now one more thing we have to see is using the different folder within this repo you can create a docs folder and inside that docs folder you can keep all your files and it will work the same way 
so I'm publishing the site till now I'm able to see my site here so there are two ways I can unpublish it one is setting the visibility of this repository as private which I can do from the settings scroll all the way down here we have change the repository visibility I can just change it to private and then it will be unpublished the other way is from the pages if you see we, here we have three dots and from this we can unpublish it directly let's unpublish and try now it is unpublished if we go and refresh the page again it takes some time to unpublish the site so there are few restrictions provided by the github that you should not use it for the commercial purpose and there are few of the limitations provided so that's all for the video if you have any doubt please comment down below and if you like the video please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you